Einstein photoelectric equation. Feinstein got Nobel Prize for this concept. He designed an equation to explain the photoelectric effect and as well as he designed an instrument which can convert uh, light energy to electrical energy. So let us see what is his equation. So he analyzed that the photoelectric effect occurs in such a way that a photon incident on a metal surface on the metal surface that photon will be absorbed by single electron and if the frequency is sufficient to pick out the electron from the metal surface then the electron can come out so that one to one interaction he consider means one photon will be absorbed by one electron so here the energy will be distributed in two ways for example one part of the energy utilized just to liberate the electron from the metal surface that we are calling as work function so work function is the minimum energy required to liberate the electron from the metal surface so what will be the remaining so the remaining part of energy will go to the electron as a kinetic energy so some part of energy electron is taking just to come out from the metal surface and remaining energy to get the kinetic energy so that kinetic energy maximum so we can write as half mv square so the remaining energy so that is why i am calling as maximum energy so now h mu photon energy if you consider that is distributed in two ways for the electron so we can write the equation like this h mu equals to w naught plus half mv square so now here the w naught we can also write as it is also energy so h mu naught so here mu naught is the threshold frequency so now if you substitute h mu naught in the equation 1 then the equation will be h mu equals to h mu naught plus half mv square the same equation so we can analyze the relation between kinetic energy and frequency of incident radiation so here kinetic energy and frequency of incident radiation so we can get the relation between these two so for that purpose just interchange then half mv square equals to h mu minus h mu naught that we can also write as h common mu minus mu naught so now if you observe this equation so here h mu naught is a constant then the remaining m constant and h also constant so here variables are velocity of the electron and as well as the frequency so if the incident frequency of the photon is more then velocity of the electron is more nothing but kinetic energy of the electron coming out of the metal surface is more so we can say simply v square proportional to mu square of the velocity of the electron proportional to frequency it is not directly exact proportional why because here constant is also there that is h mu naught now further here instead of half mv square we can also convert this one into another form so if you study the photoelectric effect in an experimental study so according to experimental study of a photoelectric effect so there stopping potential concept will be there so electron is coming out of the metal surface and that will be stopped by applying the potential the minimum potential required to stop the electron means the total velocity of the electron should be zero so here some work has been done on the electron to stop it so the work done and the potential so according to potential definition so potential nothing but work done by charge so here based on that work done nothing but potential into charge we can apply here potential nothing but stopping potential so the entire stopping potential is applying on the electron to stop the electron means the total kinetic energy will be zero means that work done on the electron nothing but kinetic energy so according to work energy theorem we can write half mv square that total kinetic energy is nothing but work done according to work energy theorem okay so that half mv square instead of that in equation number two we can substitute v naught e so 
the equation 2 will become v not e equals to h mu minus h mu not so now further send e that side then only stopping potential equals to h by e mu minus h by e mu not so if you observe this one so here stopping potential frequency both are variables remaining all constant so we can compare this one as y equals to mx plus c here m is the slope of this straight line that is but h by e and as well as the negative intercept that is h by e into mu naught so that you can analyze in the graph also it is exactly coincides with the experimental details what einstein analyzed theoretically is exactly coincide with the experimental details this is einstein photoelectric equation thank you